So far, we've talked about what machine learning for robots is and why high quality data matters. If you wanted to build your own data set from scratch, where do you even start? When you train a vision language action model, you're not just collecting random video clips. Robots need data that ties three things together. Vision, what the robot sees through cameras. Language, instructions or labels that describe what's happening. Action, the robot's own movements, joint states or outcomes. It's important to have vision and action synchronized. If you're off by even a little, say the robot camera sees an object move before the joint states are recorded, your model will learn the wrong lesson. Think of it like a cooking recipe video. It's not enough to see the chef crack an egg. You also need the instruction that says, crack the egg, and the result of what happens when the egg hits the bowl. If those don't line up, you'll end up with scrambled knowledge instead of scrambled eggs. There are a few common ways researchers collect robot data. Teleoperation, you control the robot remotely, like a video game, with some sort of input device. In aesthetic teaching, you physically guide the robot's arm and it records what you did to it. VR rigs, you use controllers to move the robot in a virtual environment. Each method has pros and cons. Heliop is flexible and direct, but can be clunky, as it's not the most human intuitive. Kinesthetic feels intuitive, but doesn't scale well. VR gives smooth demonstrations, but requires extra hardware and computation. It's also essential to understand how the collected data will be used. Broadly, there are two major training approaches, pre-training and fine-tuning. Pre-training typically involves a massive and diverse data set, often over 10,000 hours, spanning multiple robots, tasks, episode lengths, environments, and levels of complexity. This builds a generalized foundation. In contrast, fine-tuning uses a smaller, task-specific data set. The goal here is to adapt the model for a particular robot modality and environment, achieving high precision for a well-defined task. The intended use of the data naturally influences what aspects to prioritize during collection. Here's a common trap. Thinking you need millions of demonstrations right away. In reality, small curated data sets can be more valuable at the start. They help you test your setup, debug your pipeline, and make sure you're actually capturing the right signals. Once you know everything's working, then you can scale up. It's like starting a band. You don't book Madison Square Garden for your first jam session. You practice in the garage until you're tight. Then you go big. Quality versus quantity, more isn't always better if it's messy. Consistency versus variety, you need both. Too much consistency equals brittle model, too much variety equals noise. Speed versus precision, while speed allows for quick data collection, it might not offer significant usefulness. In contrast, precision may lead to higher quality data, but it requires more time to gather. In our next episode, we will explore how to make the leap from dozens of demonstrations to thousands, and how to manage annotation, maintain consistency, and avoid the pitfalls of large-scale data collection. That's where smart systems matter most. Trust in Robotics, helping innovators innovate.